However, let's uh, talk about the big news flow over the weekend. The Supreme Court has banned construction in some states, citing a lack of comprehensive policy to deal with solid waste. The timing is worse. Lots of inventory in the backdrop to talk about what this means for the space. Let's get in a very eminent voice. And Niranjan Hiranandani is MD of the Hiranandani Group and President of Kredai. So joining in on this conversation will be Nayan Shah, the President of uh, Kredai as well. But Mr. Hiranandani, good having you. Thank you so much for joining in. From an industry body perspective, three states, and I would reckon Maharashtra would be the principal one. Um, How big a roadblock would this be? Also, I want a clarity. Um, industry people that we spoke to over the weekend were divided in their opinion about whether this pertains only to new construction or whether this pertains to all construction, real estate as well as infrastructure. What is the update that you have, sir? I've read the order of the Supreme Court and certainly it does not discriminate between housing construction, road construction, metro construction, cross harbor construction. It talks about all the constructions put together. Remember, the state government in Mumbai region alone is doing 2 lakh crores worth of infrastructure in terms of doing it. Building and housing industry would be another 2 lakh crores of rupees of construction activity, including affordable housing segment that we are talking about. And the worst, worst of it all, 4 lakh workers are there in this region who are working on these projects. If the work stops for 30 days, 4 lakh people will not get wages on the 1st of October next month. It's, uh, it's a scary proposition. Uh, believe you, all the rest of the things put together and this one question of labor not getting wages next month is really horrendous. I mean, it will be worse than a tsunami. So I think it's a, uh, it's a, it's a very strong order. Maybe a correct order in terms of saying that I want to put the states into the job and do it quickly. But remember, Maharashtra has come up with a clarification which appears to be something which was not communicated to the Supreme Court. And number two, Nayan Shah, who is with me, will tell you about that already Kridai has already obtained an order uh, under the same position of solid waste management for housing construction, where another bench of the Supreme Court has given a go ahead to the construction on the same issue of solid waste management. So scary, scary, scary. It is indeed, uh, and that's what the view was of all the people. But uh, okay, since Mr. Hiranani mentioned Nayan Shah and telling us about the order that Kreda has obtained as well, let's get him in on this discussion. He's the president of Kreda. Mr. Shah, good having you. Thanks so much for joining in. Um, What's your sense, Mr. Shah? I mean, uh, one, uh, again, I think the same question firstly. I think Mr. Hiranani has made it aptly clear that according to the order that and the way he's perceived it, there is no distinction between old and new construction and no distinction between real estate or infra. Part one of my question is that. Part two of my question is uh, something that Mr. Hiranani was referring to that Kreda has obtained an order pertaining uh, to some bit of construction activity. Can you uh, brief us on that as well? Uh, Well, uh, hi. Uh, First of all, I would like to tell you that uh, there is no need to panic. Uh, There is no need to panic at all. See, this is a technical glitch which has happened. The solid waste management policy was always, uh, in fact, Maharashtra was always leading the whole country. It's just that, uh, you know, what has happened is that the affidavit, uh, I am told, was ready, the draft affidavit was ready. And the Supreme Court, uh, the date for the hearing was preponed. And uh, this really took uh, the, the, the advocate, the ad- advocate representing government of Maharashtra, uh, you know, uh, like uh, they were not ready for it. And uh, the, uh, the, the necessary officer probably was not available to, you know, file the affidavit. And hence, uh, this delay happened and, uh, you know, it cascaded into, you know, this kind of an order. So, uh, as I know very clearly that uh, tomorrow morning, in fact, the government of Maharashtra would have done it today, but unfortunately, Honorable Supreme Court is closed today for Jamnastami. Uh, tomorrow morning, the first thing, they are uh, filing the affidavit. They are putting up the, uh, you know, the uh, policy note before the Honorable Supreme Court. And I think uh, it's a matter of one or two days that, uh, you know, this stay, uh, technical stay, I would say, uh, would be lifted, you know. Are you saying, so this is my view. Are you saying, Mr. Shah, that uh, 
uh, you you are confident that this is merely a technical glitch and it will get lifted because the reason i ask this question again is because uh, when we heard the reports that came in on saturday or or friday as the case may be it almost seemed as if the supreme court has said that the next hearing is on october 9th and until then it stays as status quo well well you see if you read the uh, last pair of the order what it says is see what 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 the bench was trying to say that every state needs to have a policy uh, on solid waste management and this policy on solid waste management should be uh, informed to the supreme court by way on, by way of an affidavit now maharashtra already has this policy in place in fact in mumbai uh, for your information mumbai is far ahead of any other city in the country it has clear rules of construction and disposal and waste management it has clear rules on solid waste management in fact now any development permission any commencement certificate that is issued it is compulsory even if it is even if it means repairing your ho home uh, you need to take a miscellaneous uh, approval from the municipality if it is a project you have to take a regular approval and while you are taking the approval you have to ensure that you tell them how much of how much quantity of brass of construction and development waste is going to be generated at which place are you going to dispose of that uh, that waste who is the contractor who is going to do and then over a period of time you have to uh, you know keep a list of the trucks uh, by which the truck number by which you know by, if possible the truck number by which the uh, the waste is disposed the site at which the waste is disposed so on and so forth so there is a complete scientific place there is just no need to panic we uh, it's just so so if if you were to see that what is the supreme court trying to say that the policy should be in place yes it mm. is in place in maharashtra so okay. in my view there is no stay because the the uh, the compliance is already done it's okay. just that you have to put it on an affidavit and inform the supreme court that annexure abc is my sure. policy Okay, Mr. Hiranandani. So, but it is not just related to Maharashtra, right? A couple of other states, the Union Territory of Chandigarh, etc., have also been put on notice. Let's assume that Maharashtra has this, and Maharashtra goes out and uh, gives out give this uh, notice to the Supreme Court, and that is revoked for the state of Maharashtra. Uh, any thoughts on the other states as well? They may not be so high on the infrastructure spend, but Madhya Pradesh certainly has a fair bit of uh, infrastructure spend going on, cement consumption, workers, real estate sales happening. What happens in the event of those other states the ban lasting at least till october 9th and maybe beyond that uh, I, as i said it is scary but uh, let's look at it dispassionately as nan shah has already said uh, once the policy which has been brought into force by the maharashtra government is actually emulated by the other states i guess they would be forced to put it I think the Supreme Court has come out heavily on this policy simply because the states had, did not implement these policies, did not have the rollout clearly. I presume that instead of having several years which it took for these policies to come out, the other states would also put their head uh, down and really create out, uh, copy paste the policy of the state of Maharashtra and bring it into implementation. I think in a way uh, this is really meant to uh, insist on the states that if you don't have a policy, the Supreme Court one. shall do sure. this. Remember one thing, the same thing uh, we should not take for, the state should not take it for granted. I remember when solid waste management took place in the case of Mumbai city, it took almost two and a half years to get it lifted. Uh, so I think uh, unless the states are absolutely proactive, which I think Maharashtra is, if the other states are not as proactive as Maharashtra has now putting it across, I think the other states will really suffer. And uh, you've given the name of uh, uh, Madhya Pradesh. It's also a question of uh, Chhattisgarh and the other places. So I think uh, the state government should really move fast sure. and really do this quickly because solid waste management is a major issue. And I'm hoping to God that uh, we don't have any such thing. It's a, it's a very, very, very uh, strong statement from the right. Supreme Court that we shall brook no nonsense from any states sure. or individuals. Mr. Vidalani, just in your experience, if indeed activities such as construction or real estate get stopped for a month, month and a half, or maybe slightly longer, uh, does it have 
uh, a material impact. I mean, it, I know it's a temporary impact on tile manufacturers, on pipe companies, on cement manufacturers. Does it get recouped in the months ahead? What, what would be your best guess about this? Yeah, of course, in the case of production and other things, it does get recouped. But what happened to people who have lost one month of wages? If tomorrow Mumbai region has 4 lakh workers and they don't get wages for one month, how do you recoup that? It's, a, it's unbelievable. I mean, people talk about the business of business. But what about the people affected in this whole situation? I think that's far more serious. So we will be able to recoup construction and other things if it does happen in the other states. And I'm hoping in Maharashtra it doesn't happen. Uh, but it takes a longer time for people to do it. It's a human suffering, which is the biggest of True. all. We talk about GDP. We talk about uh, the other losses which the economy will come to, which is, of course, significant. And we should see to it that just now when the economy is beginning to pick up again and the GDP rates are going up, this would actually be a right. significant blow in the total terms if it's not handled properly. And we are not able to convince the Supreme Court. But as Nain Shah has correctly said, as far as Maharashtra is concerned, we are sure. very optimistic that we will be able to convince the Supreme Court very early. Okay. Um, fair call. Uh, last question to you, Mr. Shah, on this discussion. Again, I mean, I just wanted to get a sense. I understand from what Mr. Hirandani is saying that the, the loss of laborers is probably preeminent. But since we are trying to talk about the business impact here, um, do, do businesses which are home improvement or home manufacturing suppliers get permanently impacted or does this, uh, you know, kind of correct itself in the ensuing months if the, if the ban is temporary in nature? Well, actually, you know, uh, I would like to say that uh, I don't know about the other states, Chhattisgarh or Madhya Pradesh, but I think all these states are likely to approach the Supreme Court in the next two to three days and have the affidavit filed and have the stay lifted. So. I honestly feel that this will not go on long for a month or something like that, you know. It, it will be over in two, three days. Because, uh, you know, under the Smart Cities program, one of the first precondition of the Ministry of Urban Development was that you need to have a solid waste management and a construction waste disposal policy. And each of this, see what has happened, try and understand. The hearing for this case, as I understood, was pre by a few days or by a few weeks. You know, it suddenly came up. So. You know, it, all it, as it happens in government, you know, they, they generally are sleeping. So probably, you know, uh, they, they th thought that they would file the affidavit. So in my view, I think in the next three, four days, this whole stay in all states uh, is going to be over. You know, it's not going to last so long hmm. as everybody is thinking about. Well, okay. And all the Supreme Court wants is that you, sure. you give your policy and you give your date by which you will implement the policy. Yes. Okay, so hoping so that for all I parties see. concerned, this does uh, turn out to be true. And maybe the states also become proactive in having this policy if they don't have it in the first place. But gentlemen, thanks so much for joining in and giving in this clarity as well. And, and really you, appreciate could your I, time. Could I, Sorry? Mr. Shah, you wanted to make a point. I said Kridai India and Naretko, you know, both of them. Yes, I said Kridai India and Naretko. I think both these organizations are going to, the whatever the local units are at Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, you know, uh, the Builders Association of India, they will, they will run, they would have already by now met the Chief Minister sure. or the Chief Secretary or the Law and Judiciary Department or their Advocate General and would have got this, uh, you know, in place. I am sure they would have got it in place. Okay. Let's hope for that as well. But gentlemen, thank you so much for taking the time out and speaking with us this morning. Appreciate your time. Well, that's uh, a discussion that you wanted to know about. Um, gentlemen believing that it's ban across, but hopefully will get lifted sooner rather than later. Well, that's one piece. By the way, the markets are doing very well. Just need to mark that.